Well, my game crashed. That's awesome. But I only lost a couple minutes, so it's not bad. Little chapped about that. But... Let's see your pass. Let's see your pass. Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Um, I don't have one. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm. Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we Not your concern. Back to your post. Regards from Siggy Rootman. Oh, my boy Siggy. The man. Siggy the man. Um, so I think I had some stuff to sell along the way. Uh, <clears throat> we're just collecting a reward from our King of Beggars for freeing Rico. I believe we freed him from a, uh, I don't even know what you call them, bandit camp, I guess? I forget what they're called. I think it's bandit camp, though. Open up. So let's go get our reward. Oi. Oi. Um. Save one of your men. You should pick your men more carefully. Rico blew his cover like a novice. Yeah, he told me. And I told him to leave town. Most likely promised I'd reward you, didn't he? So he said, take it. Thank you, King of Beggars. We received an Iron Thread and Freya's Warrior's Armor. Now, we're gonna go do a main quest called The Plays The Thing, where we need to talk to Priscilla again. You'll probably remember her. She's basically helping us find Dandelion. She was one of the last people to see Dandelion. So. Now we're gonna go find Doodoo, -Doo, or try to find Doodoo, -Doo, in the hopes of finding Dandelion. Uh, let's sell him some crap first. 58, 51, 42, 73. I'll just sell these. That, that, the, maybe not that. Okay, and then we will craft another new sword. Oh, never mind. I thought I thought I did already. Sixteen, thirteen. Oh, I must have done that already. Okay, never mind. I will just leave then. So long. I'll be on my way, blacksmith. It's crazy what people will just say about you. Just straight up call you a freak. Nope, let me in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and Priscilla's room. You guys remember her. Pretty young thing. Think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time, this time he hasn't returned. Ah, uh, we gotta convince Dudu to come out of hiding. Yes! We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. 
So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply in debt to him. Hmm. So we put on a play. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea. But I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. Uh, sure. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping. The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you. And that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence. Meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Sure. Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, all clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Polis. I know. Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit, and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide, and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? That works. Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Perhaps not. Wait, I've got it. We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pulvera. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Um, sure. <laughs> We need a good time. She's not let me say anything. See, that's more important than the story itself. I've some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time. Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I've two really good ones. The Doppler's salvation and a changeling rescued or the witch's triumph. Which do you prefer? The first one, the Doppler's salvation. Let's go with the Doppler's salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. I like I like comedy. Oh, uh, not drama, comedy. Think comedy's the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right. Fine. Since you don't need help with the writing. <laughs> Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh. There's a snitch there. <laughs> I don't know what rhymes with Witcher. I'll slit yeah, your throat, Witcher. I'd make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but we're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message. You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or that wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all. You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troupe performs in the butcher's yard of the main square. Join us later. See ya. 
Madame Irina. I like that name. Okay, let's go to Arena. Let's take this script. I've got something! Now, would you just read this? And it's the greatest thing humans, human eyes I've ever seen. Witcher eyes. All kinds of eyes. Every once in a while, I just want to... Just want to igni a shady individual, you know? Trouble? Let's talk to this guy. This where Madame Marina's troop performs. Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? What'll it be? Ticket. Yes, give me a goddamn ticket and stop giving me that lip. Yeah, one. Here, just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mamas in rehearsal. Almost. Almost. Hey! Well. Arena! Can Here we, we go. Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. I love her voice. It's like super theatrical. I want to stage a play. Something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. My girl Priscilla. She's writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Uh, how do I help you publicize the staging? Why the ushers? Why the ushers? Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the dogs, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Okay, now how do we publicize this? How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Hmm. Okay. Let's go find Thanks us some help. ushers and some... I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. And some jugglers. Uh, which is closer? The jugglers. Let's go do that. Oh, I've worked up quite the appetite. Hey, it's Geralt on stage. Okay. Later, ticket guy. You busted. Ooh, we got town drunks now. Ooh. Nice. Fuck! Why are there always henchmen there? Some we need a cop or something. A guard, I guess. <laughs> a cop. Medieval cops inbound. Oh, look. They even got the, uh... Graffiti. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? 
Looking for the puffins. Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. <laughs> another thug? Wow. Wow. Another thug? Flattered. Thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening, and we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are. Got a job for you. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threaten me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. Hmm. Will you publicize this? Have they harmed any of you? Let's just do will you publicize. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. I'm a great fighter. I gotta stop talking in accents, man. I know I say this all the time, but this game just brings it out. Let's go whoop some thugs. Oh, dare you to say it again. Hey! Hey, you! What are you doing over here? So you're the ones. Oh, I thought so. Look what we got here. Is it just me, or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Uh, leave the puffins alone. That sounds like the lamest thing ever. Leave the puffins alone. Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted our Ark Emerald Farm. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then. Every time they fought. <laughs> I'll pay to go. Let's just go away. I ain't paying Get though. Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. Oh, they don't like that. Oh, wow. Oh, they're running away. That was easy. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a sight. You really showed them. One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin. I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right? I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Nice. So we got the puffins, now to the dock. Oh my god, these things, these guys are still here. Hey uh, guards, you wanna help out or? Can I fast travel somewhere close to there? Eh, kind of. Let's go to the port side gate. They ought to never let your kind yeah, in, you scab. This is no recreation. It's a material world.
Did she seriously just pull out Material Girl on me? I'm pretty sure she did. There needs to be a sign or a um, a level up thing for an, what are they even called? Attribute for unlimited sprint. I would definitely get that. That would be so worthwhile. Hey, it's a bunch of semen. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metana. Killer instinct versus primal rage. Ooh, got a job for you. This guy does not seem like a guy who like cares about jobs. About. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually, want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong man. Ass kicking's what we do. I'll pay you. What if I fight you and win? You know we gotta fight him. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me gratis. See, Hal's not a fan of money. Fire right <laughs> Stay in the will need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Huh? Take us both on, same time. Fire a century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. <laughs> Let's fight him. Let's fight. do it. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. Let's do it. Okay. Double your wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Now, finish him. Got something special like that. <laughs> Let's do this, boys. What? Lost your nerve? Ow. Ow. What is up with the camera? Check out Hal first. <laughs> God damn it, I don't want to fight you. That's enough of that. This guy just keeps swinging. There we go. There we go. Got them both. Well, uh, Thought I was gonna lose there. How often you get such a lovely trash in hell? Man, speechless. But I can see it on his mug. But the likes. Time we got some rest. We'll go whatever you want for free. Hey, hell. Your coin. Have it back. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, guards at the start. Nice. Got my crowns back. Got ourselves our uh, our guys. I'm gonna save real quick because uh, my game actually crashed last time. There are no auto saves at all in this mission or quest, I guess, which is ridiculous. 
Absolutely ridiculous. Let's go back to higher square. Oh, there's my boy Hal. Oh, and there's Sophus. He didn't say anything. <laughs> Hal didn't say anything. Let's go talk to Irina. Okay, Irina, you ready to go? Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Okay. Let's th Wanted discuss the text. text hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I have very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. If she doesn't cast me as the witcher, I'd be I'd be a little rattled. Who's playing the witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer. Oh. In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. Good idea. Not an actor, no talent. Let's go with good idea. It's a good idea. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. I'll give it a shot, of course. Uh, let's talk about the princess. Let's talk about the prince. Let's talk about the princess. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who can play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Hmm... Let's go with Priscilla. I'm Let's sorry, lady. Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. See, she's okay with it. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safe bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's go with, I like Maxim, you know? Maybe he'll show up drunk, but people love him. Let's risk it and give the role to Maxim. He's had a good spell of late, so maybe he won't let us down. Okay. Getting rich off it? The These performances bring in much coin. Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course, we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Got the cast figured out. All right. So I think that Got should be everyone, right? Out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? Ah, oh, yeah, let's do it. We can start now. Which is ready Let's to act. Out of curiosity. We can start anytime, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Sultan, what are you doing here? <laughs> they told me you like to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. No, oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you are. You're going to wear hose and a codpiece. Calm down. <laughs> you must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen. 
Most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, the delight of audiences far and wide, Maxime Bollier. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Yay! Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. <laughs> Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. A monster shall show at tonight's beastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. I kill monsters for pleasure. To slay beasts most foul. To slay beasts most foul. T'was for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. Wow, killed it. <laughs> Swallowed the bait, this fool killed it. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests. Perhaps midst the guests he hides, in fear. Oh god, I scared the kid. My dear... Long have we hid our oh God, he's drunk. Fires. But he's here at Once least. I held back my loins, heart desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife. That's my plea. And then I shall pluck your ripe virginity. <laughs> oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Ah! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. Hark, hark. Tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. If the maid loves him, let's do that. If the maid loves him, it seems we've lost her. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man. Tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a base heart. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave aches. Witcher, tis true. 
This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. No monster is he. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the traitor scum in the dungeon! We got Don't him. Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. We got doo doo. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. You guys are real angry. <laughs> Everyone else seems to like it, though. I think they loved it. I hope they loved it. Oh Everyone, God! Look at Doodoo. You recognize me? How'd you do it? Greetings, Doodoo. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt, masterful. You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> How'd you escape? Yeah, I'd like to know how he escaped. I know Siri went back to Horson's to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cinderella? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Guilt? No need. I want to see. I want, I want Geralt to see her. Change into her. That is so weird. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him. But there's good news too. That's so weird. Why would he be angry? Uh, we can free Dandelion with your help. Let's say that. We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenford. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. 
Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. You'll be fine. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Kyle's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled, let's get to work. Caleb can just go Not missing again, the right? Time out. Just a few minor trip ups. The performance in general, what did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. Such a shame Maxim went on stage inebriated after all. Some of the crowd demanded refunds. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. How much did I make? Ooh, a little bit. Doo doo bibbethelt. <laughs> They say Meet Zoltan at the site of the ambush. Okay, let's go do that. Let's get Dandelion. Let's finally get him. I'm tired of doing side quests. Well, I'm going to save as well. Just in case. I've lost too many recordings not to save. Just a note to any of you Let's Players out there. Anyone who might watch this, always remember to save. So important. 